Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm very hyped for this ROM because this is the most awaited thing for the Galaxy Grand Prime. This is the Cyanogen Mod 13 Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. And yes, we are finally getting Android Marshmallow on our Grand Prime. So let's just install it. First of all, switch off your device, hold your power, volume up, and the home button. You see a warning over here where uh, if you enter a recovery or uh, something if you like uh, flash a wrong kernel let's just swipe first of all advanced swipe dalvey catch system catch data oops that was quick go to install so here is my rom cm13 and here i am selecting the gapps so if you are downloading the gapps right now please check that you don't download for it the like arm64 download for arm cause this is a 32 bit rom not 64 even though the chip is 64 bit here it is swipe to install it wouldn't take much time maybe around uh, 8 to 5 minutes let's just hope that it goes quick Now it's installing the GF. So as you know, I have gone for the smallest package which doesn't contain anything except for the Play Store and Google Play services. Cause this is the best one. You can download uh, your essential apps later on like the YouTube or uh, Facebook and everything, not Facebook or any other apps like Google Plus that can be done on later. And if you want the Google Now Launcher, it's a bit laggy like the Now, now Launcher which has some uh, like files from Android N is a bit laggier, so I will recommend to install like use the standard ones from the Cyanogen Mode 13. Cause also the Cyanogen Mode camera is uh, much better with uh, many useful options. So as you can see, we have now installed and let's just reboot the system. The sad part is I just formatted this phone and uh, set it up for my mom cause it's my mother's phone, and now I have to <laughs> again format this after this video and do everything like that it's just hectic now it's booting hope it boots very fast i do i like don't care because we are getting android marshmallow with the wi-fi and camera working what else do we need i know there is a hitting problem but i just don't care my device runs a marshmallow that is very cool and also it has the very like um what do you say newest updates like the august 5 patch so it uh, will not be vulnerable to the quad router issue i mean there is uh, still one issue but that's the google's fault not ours so our device is a very like updated thing right now and i will uh, totally recommend you to check out this rom cause this device is getting older and also many of you will sell this device uh, in coming of months so I will really recommend you to check these ROMs out and get the full out of your devices. Right now it's optimizing its apps, 104 apps are right now optimizing and it's been very fast. Like I have used uh, Cyanogen Mode 13 in previous devices which would be very slow and uh, it was used to give like a checkbox over here where it was saying optimizing apps and the number of apps. Not like this where we do get a logo and the name. Uh, also bar which is cool also cyanogen mode uh, logo over here it's pretty quick though so after 8 to 10 minutes we have been greeted with the cyanogen mode 13 setup screen and it looks very nice it's bit yellowish you can't see it in the camera but i guess it has been triggered like a night shift mode and uh, okay the wi-fi is working there you can see the changes going on with the yellow and blue screen. I don't know how it optimizes cause we don't get the auto brightness sensor. This is the like most boring part whether it takes any device to get a 1 to 2 minutes or 5 to 15 minutes for checking its info. It's very annoying. That was quick. Let's just skip that. Skip. I know this review is going to be long but it would be worth it if you are not going to check out this ROM on your device. I will cover up everything including this ROM. There you go. 
and it's very fast no lags at all let me just bring my camera a little bit down as you can see all of your apps are present play store good let me just change the color to the like marshmallow one compact light nope i don't want the grid first scroller off <laughs> now the uh, like everything is working net i guess network is also working too yep it's working otherwise it would be crashed when the calls come app opening time is pretty cool the device is very hot right now so it would be like lagging or uh, like performance uh, throttling let's just go to the settings display so there is an option to double tap to wake let's just check that out one two nope it doesn't work i guess the developer will fix it later on wallpaper extended everything which the like marshmallow offers for this themes gestures buttons everything is present proximity wake from the signage remote 12.1 everything is there besides the performance mode i guess if you go into the battery is the battery battery okay there it is you get a new doge mode which is offered in the android marshmallow battery optimization is there right now none of apps are optimizing because i have installed nothing battery saver is also present security status bar everything is there status bar gets a new thing if you like press and hold the settings thing it will start spinning off oops i can't really show it to you guys in camera i will try as you can see it's spinning and after my finger and there you get it how to readjust the tiles so you get a enlarge first row option try state location brightness slider show weather that would be cool later on and to arrange the tiles that's this thing and you get more tiles with the android marshmallow i guess let me just do that again ambient display battery saver caffeine is there now there is the compass is also present lock screen volume i'm saying and the basic stuff so basically caffeine like uh, okay it's not working but okay Okay, it's working so it just pause the everything like it's like uh, what you say a do not disturb mode which will not disturb till your caffeine time overs and this is just a compass live display over there pretty cool and main part sign engine mode 30 and there is your android marshmallow let's just play the game pretty quick looks very cool on this device this is a 2014 device indeed company calls signage mode 13 there we go it's nice that we get two easter eggs in one rom i don't know how to change that code but it's pretty cool um then we get the august 5 patch for your our device which is the latest one hats off to them the developer has done a very good job over here now let's enable the root developer options root access apps and adb it should be good and let's just check out the camera cause it is very very feature packed and also it's working uh, very nicely preview is also awesome maybe the screen quality yep the photos come out to be very good let's just check out flash auto store location now i like widescreen 6 megapixels 100% picture quality, storage, face detection is also there, exposure, white balance, dust focus, duration, denoise is also present, anti binding I don't know because it said Europe, USA, I don't know what's that, sharpen level is also there, let's just take it a bit higher, contrast level, 4, four would be great, saturation, 6, that would be great, bright screen, no issue, no, 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 very, very feature packed actually. there we go mm, pretty good quality actually than the stock camera app then we have the 
night mode like cool it just lights up everything i will show you a bit better with my front camera action is also there auto let's just switch on to the front camera as you see there is my seventh recording over there and if i choose for backlight everything is like very very bright right now no one can miss this thing it's very very useful in a dark scenarios then comes the video options front 1080p is also working i guess let's just hop on to the back camera again video now there is a 1080p option but if you select for qvga you do get an option for slow motion 60 fps and 120 fps it does work but i wouldn't show cuz there is not much difference cuz this hardware doesn't support it but you can't do it in 1080p focus continuous and every other uh, like normal options so are present and that's pretty much it you do get a new browser and a download section as you can see new browser for the cyanogen mod 13 and it's uh, pretty smooth you can definitely use this as a uh, like daily driver but uh, don't use this device it like uh, because on some base bands like xcu or other devices it would get very heated up and this is a g530h i don't know whether it works on g530mw or fz but this is a h and it's working pretty fine let me show that uh, the developer has implemented a theme in order to just give a demo of that theme let me just okay it's a cyanogen theme cyanogen ink over there cuz it has a bit taste of a cyanogen mod over there i will just show you okay the theme has been applied that was pretty quick i can says been changed looks pretty beautiful the status bar has been touched to the like bezels like the android n also nice very fast and smooth so guys this was my installation and review of cyanogen mod 13 on grand prime hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe to the channel for more videos of grand prime and peace